And then some. Hey, hey, hey. Get away from my friend. Ah, oh, I'm going to take you out, man. Oh, no, you don't. I'm coming for you. Burp. <laughs> Surprise! Come back here. <laughs> Who's hunting who now? Oh, oh, well. Ah, what the? Uh-oh. Please don't knock the ladders down. No, 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 don't knock the ladders down. I'm coming up. Don't knock the ladders down. My back. Ow. Took it, took it, took it, took it. Ah! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Raw. You cannot kill me. <laughs> anyway, let's kill some people. Hey boys and girls, it's Nightstalker here. Welcome along today to Linwu Fortress. Check it to check it out. Um, I'm doing some more Reapers today because I'm still getting asked a lot about Reapers and to play them, so I guess we'll just maybe get another one. And I've also had a couple of requests to play the Grandpa, so let's hope they do quite well. Um, I'm also going to take the uh, the Halberdy Boys, the Land Sharks, the Larnschnitz, the Elf Halberdiers, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to use them hopefully to defend the final point. At least that's the plan. Very few plans survive the first contact with the enemy. So here we go, we've got a fairly unbalanced map. It looks like the enemy team have five pikes. Um, and that's quite uh, normal for this map, you know, to have quite unbalanced teams. But life goes on like that. With their five pikes and our three short swords uh, on top of a couple of long swords, we should be absolutely sweet to win this one. Don't forget, boys and girls, if you'd like to join us in our Discord server, we have a Discord server where we chat to uh, to tee up games, uh, to talk about the rules if you need help at all. I'm going to put the link for the Discord server in the description of the video, so if you want to come along and talk to us, uh, join the crew. Uh, we've got a lot of people that are very knowledgeable about the game if you're uh, struggling. So let's get into this game. Alrighty, here we go with our beautiful loading and animation. So, as is befitting this particular map, let's get up and start defending the capture point. Now, on this A point, it is treb central, and usually the, the enemy will treb on cooldown, because that's exactly what they should be doing. It's all exposed up here, especially since they added a couple of new trebuchets to the other side. So what I'm going to do is just continuously shuffle around, just enough to, if somebody does treb at me, uh, that it's going to miss. And of course, when you're moving around, it makes you much less likely to be targeted. So, let's see how we get on. Let's see the enemy are making a very strong push through the, um, the southeastern gate. And that's okay. We, we'll have to trust our team to hold the line over there. That's one thing about this game, you have to trust your team to do their job. Even if they don't. Don't forget, even if they don't. But... Um, you can't be everywhere at once, and if you try, you're just going to end up in some bad situations. Uh, we'll just knock these guys out real quick as they come up the wall here. Just watching for the treby trebs. Because that would be bad. Alright, looks like we've got away from them. Nobody has decided to blow us up with sky bombs. Let's go have a look in here. That's a very trebable spot, so we're going to have to consider that. And again, we watch. Oh, now we need to get away from this wall. Watch this, because I know exactly what's going to happen. Watch. There it is. See that? The two trebs on the other side can hit what the target was, but the two on this side we're going to, always going to hit the wall. So very sensibly, they pulled their monks back there. Do you see how with this unit we just sort of stand off range, and we're sort of encouraging them to walk into us if at all possible. That maul's going to get munted. That's him out of the fight for a little while. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about this guy, but what we're going to do is we're going to fall back slightly. See, ah, there we go, perfect, the Imperial Pikes. Um, so we move back to expose their flank if they wanted to attack me. And see how I've engaged Grandpa's with Grandpa's off-centred? Because my guys are going to last longer, because I have a heal, and because I can reduce the armor by 15%, I'm sort of offsetting to make sure some of my guys stay fully healthy. This is pretty intense. Can we kill that maul? 
I don't know. But either way, we're now on the flank of the grandpas and winning. Oh no! Iron caps. Get away from me. Silly pike. Just ignore you. <laughs> so this is ow. This is how I prefer to play the grandpas. Wait for the opportunity. If you can make the enemy come to you. Generally just play smart with them. If you get a bit crazy with them. Like a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, they advocate charging and then make your formation and then just kill everything. Blah, blah, blah. I, I certainly like to use them with a little bit more finesse. So anyway, let's go. Channel the Zohan. So let's go. We've got six of them left. That's not terrible. We'll just tuck them in the corner here. Taking our uh, supply at the back, can you see? Nobody here. I guess we'll just hang out. Um, I don't want to stay too long with just six of uh, the grandpas because if they start heavily pushing, obviously that is not ideal. Really just wanted them to... Ooh, how can I get to them? Jump off the side, maybe? Two heroes there. No, it's probably not worth it. Um, I could have jumped on my horse, jumped off, jumped off the horse, and then attacked them in the back, but I still might get shot, you know? And of course, there's lots of heroes. Right, here's where we can use our six... Um, oh, 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 oh. Here's where we can use our six guys to a little bit of effect. If we can kill, say, two modows, I'll be happy. Yeah, we got our two. Lovely. And I'm going to get overrun, and that's going to be the end of me. No problemo. Um, I can see on our map that none of our team have really reacted to this. Uh, there's some guys at the supply point that are now bringing units back, but... Uh, I don't know what that guy on the far left is doing. He's just sort of... Really far right now. He's just sort of hanging about just in case, maybe? We certainly could have used him in the fight. Never mind. Um, I would say we're not going to hold the A point now. This is looking pretty dire. No, oh, mind you, Palace Guard, Palace Guard, not the worst. Um, I'm actually going to bring the Halbies in now. I wanted them for the final point, but I actually think now is the time. So let's go. Why do I think now is the time? Um, I think now is the time simply because we're going to end up, by the time we get there, finding a lot of scattered uh, units and a lot of heroes remaining left on the point. So uh, these guys are very, very strong against individuals. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's just bad luck. Pure bad luck. Those trebs were not for me. They overshot the target and did me some damage. Ow. Stink. Never mind. Chance has always played a, a you know, role in warfare. And you can't, you can't bemoan when you get unlucky, right? You know? Generals have, for, for all through history... Suffered good and bad luck, giving them both victories and not. They'll never hit us from all the way over the... I actually want to exchange my unit for these guys. So we're going to have to force the walk. We've got support, yes we do. Let's force them to advance on us. Here we go, so we'll take the advance. Where's our, t where's our support? They went back up the stairs, that's a pain. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. But we are absolutely slaughtering this unit. If we can um, reduce it to at least half strength, I'll consider it okay. Oh, timely advance by the Forda Brachios. Very well done. They should have been fighting an open formation there. They should hit V. That's better. Never mind. Um, so we did trade. Traded the unit. That's fine. We didn't get all the kills. That's fine too. Um... So the big question is, do I pull my next unit now, or do I save it for the end point? Guess we'll never know. Guess we'll never know. Okay, we know now, we're going to pull the unit. Uh, we got 255, so actually it's a very good chance of us... Um, what am I doing? Just have a little moment there. Um, so there's actually a very good chance of us holding that point. And if we can hold the A, we can just win here and now. And that is certainly the objective that I am going to try and do. 
The two units of Reapers. Oh, yes. That's enough hit points and armor to probably just sit on the point for the rest of the time by themselves. And a unit of Modau. Got the heavy boys. Are these guys going to get trebbed? Just in case. Don't want to walk through them if they're going to get trebbed, that's for sure. <laughs> Looks like they're not. That's fine. People must have used their trebs already. What else have we got here? We've got some Palace Guard, we've got some Grandpas, and we've got a unit of Imperial Pikes coming up as well. I almost certain oh no, wait, that's enemy Imperial Pikes. Eek. I'm almost certain that that's gonna be enough. We'll just wipe these guys out real quick. We'll use our charge, but we don't want to be fighting on two fronts, right? Knock as many of these Imperial Pike Guard down as we can, and then just get stuck in. Imperial Pike Guard, when you knock them down, when they stand back up again, they do continue their advance. So that's something to, to keep in mind when you're doing this. But with a minute and a half left to go and very little in the way of enemy, I think that we can push. Oh, 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 oh. How annoying. How annoying. Look at them all trying to advance into the wall. <laughs> and then bracing. All right. Let's go kill some people. We've almost got our uh, number two ability up. And there we go. Let's do it. Choppity, 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 choppity. In this sort of situation, the Reapers do really well. In this sort of scattered combat against scattered units. And they do pick up some hero kills that they didn't really used to do. So, quite impressed so far. How about some free gunners? Ow. <laughs> Not too bad overall, I think. We have 42 seconds. Should we chase them? Everybody else coming too? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Now these two here next to the A point, that's a little bit of an issue, but I can see um, I can see at least one of our heroes there. And even if they're standing on there uninterrupted, they're not going to capture it in 27 seconds. So we should be good. Oh, scattered Modau. Oh, unscattered Modau then. Okay. By one Reaper. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, what can we do here? I don't want to charge into that unit unless they raise their spears. Oh, that's nice that he missed me. Oh, that's 15% armor, sir. Oh, okay. If they're going to not be on brace, we'll knock them down. GG! Well done to our team, and unfortunately, enemy team were not strong enough to push onto the A point, and that just happens sometimes. Like I mentioned at the start of the game, um, it's a very unbalanced map, in my opinion. 34 Imperial Pike cards are a good number. Did 1 million, took 1.7. Um, all in all, not too bad. Reapers did fine. Great here, Garrison did great. Alp Halberdiers only got five, but we did t actually trade them for the... Uh... Yeah, not bad. We even got a couple of gunners in there. Jeez, our team leader did well, didn't he? Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. Ooh.